What's going on folks? It's Tim back. Not really doing a tank update or anything, gonna kinda do a a ramble about something I was thinking about. Um but uh yeah the I guess I'll talk about it. The tank's doing alright. I'm letting that corpo just really go. I need to get in there and rip a bunch out. I did that uh, the other day, <clears throat> but I'm kind of see it letting it grow against the sand bed right there. Um, yeah, it's coming up on this digitata. It's doing very well, but I don't want it to go around it. I got um, <laughs> I got this the other day. Um, it's a red lobo. Let's see if I can get it uh, real good. But it was at the store and. Um, we had it in our display tank, it kind of came in like this, and they were going to like, <laughs> one of the workers was actually going to throw it away, and I was like, well, don't throw it away, let me let me put it in my tank and see if it works. It looks like uh, it might make it, I mean, there is a tear, um, I think, here, so if I can actually get it to focus, um, yeah, I think there's a tear there, and that's never a good thing, but it just looks not happy. It doesn't look like it's going to die. I don't know. Hopefully it comes back. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I was going to do a rant about biological filtration. Um, a lot of uh, <laughs> products that I see, you know, um, talk about their biological filtration and they even go above and beyond um, to accommodate that, like, you know, bio wheels or the uh, extremely porous um, ceramic rings in like a flu ball, um, aqua clear, or even in their canisters as well. Um, and I would say that most people's tanks do not need that at all. Like, it's totally not <laughs> important um, unless you have a truly massive amount of fish. Uh, you will have plenty of nitrifying bacteria on the different surfaces in your tank and in the substrate and any kind of decorations you have. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's enough to take care of almost any tank. Unless you're like really packing in a bunch of real big predators or something like that. I mean, not really an issue at all. And I'm talking about like, you see some of the cichlid tank people with just tons of sickles, that kind of stuff, then yeah, maybe you're going to need some biological filtration. But generally, like, it's not important at all. Um, I could put five times as many fish in here as I have. Well, granted, I don't have a lot of fish in here. Um, let's talk about like this here. Uh, I could put in probably three or four times the amount of fish I have, probably five times the amount of fish I have in here, which would be a truly massive amount of community fish. Uh, probably uh, 60 fish, 70 fish, uh, probably more like 100 fish, uh, 100 small fish in here. And if I let it go with the filter, I mean, if, like, honestly, I don't think that I would even have an ammonia problem. Um, and if I added them gradually, I know I wouldn't. Uh, like, like, that's the thing. If you add them gradually, it's just not an issue. Uh, not at all. Um, I've dealt with so many tanks in my life and ammonia issues are actually very uncommon and the only time that I really ever see them is new tank sh syndrome kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, you don't need it. You, I, every filter I've ever had that's had that kind of biological media, I just take it out. And I tell people that at the store all the time. Now they're getting like a foo ball and I'm like, yeah, just take this out and put something else in there. Like some other kind of chemical media. Um, or just more mechanical filtration, like another sponge. But those bio rings, I mean, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that they're useful in very many situations. Um, and I'm pretty confident saying that. Uh, that I believe that 100%. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. I just think it's kind of silly, uh, especially, I mean, because I work at a retail location and, you know, we try to um, sell things to customers and so I'm always talking about products and stuff like that and um, that's one of those things where, like I said, I, I tell customers, I'm like, this is this is kind of a gimmicky thing, just take it out of your, take it out, it doesn't matter. 
Uh, people all the time, oh, my uh, bio wheel broke on my, my marine land. Uh, they bring in their water and we test it and it's, you know, the everything's fine. There's no ammonia or nothing. And we, we always just tell them, I've heard that so many times too. And, and so, so many times, probably 30 times I've told somebody, uh, don't even worry about it. Don't get another one. Just leave it off. It's uh, no longer a bio wheel and now it's just a regular filter. Because um, it's, it's just not important at all. I can't think of a situation where it would be, except for just like mass, truly massive quantities of fish. Uh, anyway, that's my kind of ramble about that. Um, I did trim the plants today. So I trimmed the Rotala uh, and moved a cluster of that over there. The tank doesn't really feel balanced to me. I also added a, um, I'm not sure if I did this after my last video or what. But anyway, I added a power head to increase the flow. It seems like all of the black spot algae is actually gone. So, uh, the things, the measures I took were I reduced the light, I reduced the lighting cycle, and I added that. Um, it's hard to tell what is the, what had the most um, effect. I mean, it would be tr truly speculative on my part. So, I'm not gonna speculate. But that combination of things took care of the problem. So that's great. And I'm looking forward to seeing that tank bounce back. I got um, Flourish um, on the way. I'm going to start, I got Leaf Zone right now, which I, uh, you know, after doing research, I realize it's kind of a, a weird product and I don't really want to be using it. Uh, so I got the Flourish, and I think that that will help out with the slight yellowing on the new Nubius. Um, so, yeah. Uh, hopefully good things to come, and I'll be making a new video soon.